game or not, violent crimes can happen to anyone. A common question for citizens across the world is whether or not video games is a source of influence for potentially harmful violent activities. Their fears are for not though. The overwhelming evidence for extent, from extensive research proves otherwise. Violent video games have little or no effect on violent crimes. Here are some reasons why. First of all, according to the New York Times, the increase of violent video games over the past decade or so has not been concurrent with youth violent crimes. The latter actually decreased more than half its size between 1994 and 2010, while video game sales have more than doubled since 1996. This shows that violent video games does not outright cause violence because by that reasoning, the amount of violent crimes should have been increasing with the larger and larger amounts of video games being sold each year. Next, millions of people across the world play violent video games. If violent video games poses were correct, many video gamers across the world would be violent criminals. But we know this is not valid because not every single person among these millions of gamers are violent criminals. If there would be any connection from violent video games to crime, it surely would only be one influence out of many. Because as stated in a book by PhD Dr. Lawrence Kuttner and SED receiver Cheryl K. Olson, violent video games, some with far more violent content, sold in foreign markets, have considerably less levels of violent crime compared to the U.S. Suggest this suggests other or more relevant influences in the actions of violent crime, such as the background of person and the availability of firearms in his or her area. Also, the issue of violence in video games and violence in real life has been the subject of being scapegoat for news media and politicians, according to Forbes magazine. This may influence the public's view on violent video games by over-exaggerating their effects due to bias and leading the ordinary Joe to base his opinion, opinions on assumptions made by these outlets. The widespread potential of this is considerable, considering the massive influence the U.S. media has on society today. Even then, studies made by multiple branches of the U.S. government found no scientific research that validates a connection between violent video games and violent crime. Also, there are violence on a whole nother scale, in media sources aside from video games such as televisions, movies, books, comics, etc. There is nothing special about video games that makes people more successful to thoughts of perpetu perpetuating heinous crimes. Like I said before, there is no hard, reliable research to prove it. As you can see from the reasons stated above, violent video games have little or no impact on actual real-life crime. Knowing this, people should start thinking of solutions for problems that are already completely proven to be influences of violent crime, such as untreated mental illness, rather than trying so hard to prove something that does not exist. Having more focus on these catalysts will most certainly save more lives and could prevent a loss of a loved one.